All right, this week we are on week eight. Okay, 
don't want to wear them. I just wanted to kind of be a little bit funny to kind of think about what it was like for Peter um, to be chained. But guess what? Herod thinks Peter's not going anywhere. I have him chained. I have him chained to the two prison guards. So he's definitely not going anywhere. But guess what? Even though he was there, all the friends at church, so to say, just like us, were praying for Peter. What do you think they were praying for Peter about? What do you think they prayed for as Peter's locked in jail? What do you think the believers were praying for? What do you think they were praying for? Yes, maybe for him to get free, right? Maybe for him to be safe while he was in there, right? Because they know Herod is not a nice person, right? So they were praying. Did the people, did his church friends forget about him? No, they didn't. Just like we pray for each other. We get the prayer chain and we pray for each other. And we pray for the needs of our family and friends. So as they're praying, do you know what Peter was doing in prison? Um, Acts 12, 6 says this. Listen and tell me. Hmm. Now when Herod was about to bring him out on that very night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and sentries before the door of the garden of the prison. What was he doing? Everybody pretend. He was sleeping. How could he be sleeping? I don't know if I could be sleeping. I would be very scared and nervous, right? But he was not. You know why? Peter trusted in God so much that he could rest. I thought that was amazing because I don't think that I would be wanting to rest while they were doing this. So, as Peter was asleep, an angel came to him and said, wake up, wake up. Who woke him up? Was it a person or an angel? An angel, right? And he, I think he thought he was still being a little sleepy, right? Because he just woke up and he's thinking, my chains. So his chains fell off, just like that. And he got up, and the angel led him through the door. Remember this big door? Look at it. Do you think that would have been easy just to get out? I don't think so. So he went around, and he was easily led out by the angel. And I think the guards were still asleep. He was escaping, right? So they were walking. He walked, 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 walked. Do you guys stand and walk in place? It's a long walk. He was walking. He didn't have his chains on, thankfully, anymore, right? He could walk. And where do you think Peter went when he escaped? Where do you think he went? Where do you think he went? Who were the people praying for him? Who were they? The church, the friends. Right? The people? Well, in God's word, it says, let me show you the picture, but this is our little tent right here. We're going to pretend the door is that. And look, he comes there in Acts 12, 13. It says, and when he knocked at the door of the gateway, a servant girl named Rhoda came to answer. Peter knocked at the door. Now, Rhoda does not let him in. This is the interesting part. She says, who is it? Who is it? And he says, it's me, Peter. It's Peter. And Rhoda was so excited, she's going to run back and tell all of us, because we're the people praying. It's Peter. Peter, Peter's where? I thought he was in prison. No. He's at the gate? Wait, are you sure? Well, why did you bring him with you? Right. She forgot to let him in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So Rhoda lets Peter in, and everybody that's praying is so excited. Where's your excited face? Yay, he's out. Peter is here with us. Guess what? All the friends weren't sure that Rhoda was telling the truth. They thought that he was still in prison, right? When we pray, God wants us to believe what we're praying he will do, right? If they were praying for Peter's safety and to get out of 
jail, they need to believe that God will do it. Did God free Peter? Yes, only God can do that, right? That was a lot of chains. You guys got out of your chains good, right? And set him free. And he came back to talk to them. He was knocking at the door for a while. We were just leaving him hanging there. He was probably like, oh, no, we didn't know that. But he came to tell them that God does care for us, and he cares for his missionary, and he provides for us. Can you guys say, thanks, Peter? Thanks, Peter. <laughs> he did a good job being Peter for you. So we need to trust in God to protect us and keep us. And when we pray, then he is going to to answer. We've been praying for a lot of different people, right? We are praying for Ellie and Lindsay's Aunt Tammy, right? We are praying for Cooper and Liv's grandpa. Okay, those are things that are really on our hearts right now that we're praying for. And God hears us and we believe that God will answer our prayers, right? Sometimes not in this way of freedom like Peter had, but in the way that is pleasing to God, okay? So let's pray before we go into our verse and our paper, okay? Hold our hands and talk to God, okay? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for for hearing our prayers and answering our prayers. Help us to bring all our needs before you, and we do bring Aunt Pam before you, and pray that you continue to watch over her and help her as she goes through different things right now. We pray you'll give her body healing and watch over her. We pray for Liv and Cooper's grandpa right now. He's in the hospital that you watch over him. And give the doctors wisdom, help them not to be in pain. And thank you for this time together. Amen. So, our um, wait, did, oh, go ahead. Did you say? Sorry. Um, my papa plays her real bad, so he wants to be in the hospital. Yeah, and that's what we're praying for him, right? That's good. Yeah. He's in the best spot um, that he yeah. can be because they can care for him, yeah. right? Um, mama drove my car. Oh, you made him a car? That's so nice. I bet he loves uh, I made a lot of cars that I used to talk. Aww. So we have missionaries here at church. Last week we talked about this verse. Did you guys remember this one? Go into all the world, right? And preach the gospel to every creature. That means everyone, right? Mark 16, 15. And I wanted to show you some of our missionaries. And I'm going to put their pictures up in the where in the world. And this is the Conrads, and they have four kids, and they're in Hong Kong, China, okay? These are actually missionaries that we pray for, and, like, they have kids. Yes, and they're over here in Hong Kong, China. So look where they're at in relationship to us. This is where they are. Here's where we are, right? They're missionaries here. We can't be there, so they're telling others about Jesus there. Oh, they stay there. This is the Chabalis. They have kids too, but I think they're all married. They have three children, I believe. And they're in the Samoan Islands. Can you say that? Samoan Islands. Yeah, it's a real tiny. It shows you right here. They circle it. Look how tiny it is. Oh, isn't it so You can barely even see it. Look at it. Look how tiny that is. See that circle? That's an island. Isn't that crazy? But look how tiny it is, Samoan Islands. I see it. Yeah, I saw it. So tiny. And some of you may know that um, the Howe family, they're in Italy. They're in Italy, and their grandparents go to our church, or her parents go to our church, and the kids' grandparents, the Pattons, they're in Italy. Look, hey, let me show you real quick. So way over here will be the Chivalis. I'm going to this way, so I'll just put it up. And then we have the Howes, right? And then we have down here in South America, guys, the, I just was with Alonzo. No, it's not Alonzo. Yeah, the Alonzo's. They have two girls. See their picture? Actually, they just celebrated an anniversary, too. Look, they have two girls. Actually, their girls are going to college in the United States at Liberty, Virginia. They're in South America. So I wanted to tell you guys that we have missionaries that we send from Grace Bible Church that are serving all over. So I'm going to put their picture up there so you guys can see that because we're talking about being a missionary. Okay. Oh, yes. Um, I didn't put my eggs. Oh, did I say the first oh, verse again? No, sorry. <laughs> I bet you did I. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Ready to enter our birds. today that says God provides. Can you guys see what God provides here? What do you think this person is here? Good job, a doctor. So God provides good health. God also provides. What is this? What's that? Ooh, we like that, right? God provides money for us to pay our bills, to eat. He also provides us with a what? Yeah. 